Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. This time, we're going to show you how to set up the Cree bulb with Hubitat. Now, there's going to be a, a difference you're going to notice, and some of the videos may seem a little bit piecemeal, but let's, I, I think we're at a point in the, in the process that I, I want to sit down and explain to you why I'm doing the way I am. Not everybody may want to take the Cree bulb, hook it to a Samsung button and to Hubitat or to put the rules engine in. And there's all sorts of options that's going to be used. So I'm trying to show you in, in small steps how to get a particular device working so that you don't have to weed through a whole bunch of things for something you may not do at that point. But if you can later decide you want to do a piece, then you can go back to that particular video. I'm just trying to be considerate of your time. Because it's heaven knows we've all got enough going on with our days that we don't need any more challenges. So I'm trying to be considerate of that. Slowly but surely growing the number of subscribers. I want to thank everybody for that. And we're going to be working with all sorts of devices in the coming months. In fact, you'll actually see me go on the road here several times this year where I will show you how to use the devices like the Cree bulb while you're traveling. And I'll be setting up my own portable smart house. So it's just one step at a time, and I'm going to try to show you some real-world examples whenever I can. But anyway, let's go on to getting the Cree bulb set up with your Hubitat. Okay, now we're at the main screen of Hubitat, which if you've done any number of devices so far with Hubitat, you know what you're looking at. So we'll go over here to Discover Zigbee and Z-Wave devices, and it'll start its Discover here in just a second. We will get... The bulb turned on here, the Cree bulb we're working with at this point, and it should auto discover itself, which, like a good little smart home device, it does. We'll type Cree, click save, okay, it's saved. Now, if we go back into the devices tab, we'll go into Cree bulb and we'll turn it off. On. Okay, we can do a set level. Okay, yeah, I clicked the button before I set the level. That's not going to work now, well, is it, folks? Okay, we'll set to 50%. So the bulb's just dimmed to that. And we'll go back up here to 100%. Bring it up full. Okay. Well, obviously, that's, that's up and running fine. So we'll go ahead and get it and add it to a dashboard to get it up and running. So we will go down here. We will pick the Cree bulb. We will pick bulb, add tile, close menu. And see, because the bulb was already on when we brought it in, it because of the color of that icon, we know it's there. Turn it off. We can pull the slider and it will bring it back on and dim it down to the right level. So I think in record time you've seen what it takes to get a Cree bulb up and running. Now, I do want to mention up front, uh, I did have a, a Cree bulb give its life in the configuration process, and I have had these for several years, so it's not surprising that it it did fail. I mean, you know, things can't last forever, and I don't fault the, the folks at Cree at all on this one. If you are going to reset the bulb and you've already got it on a Hubitat, let, let me save you a step here. When you go into the devices tab, like you saw earlier, when we after we had the bulb up and running, if you go down to the bottom, and I believe on the lower right, you should see a, a red button that says remove device. Now, that's the best way, if you can, to remove the Cree bulb. Because once you click on the remove button, you should see the bulb flash once. So that means it, it's been detached from Hubitat or whatever hub you happen to have it on. If you've got one of those, make sure you can do a, a removal of the device first because that's going to be the cleanest way. In the description for this video, or if you're listening to my podcast, what you will find are two different processes for doing a hard reset of the bulb. And I've got one bulb that I was working with so much, it simply has given up the go. So there, it may have been premature failure, and it may be the bulbs can only handle doing a hard reset so many times. But, you know, I did move on to another bulb, and, and all has been fine. So if you can do that, 
try to do a removing of the device first. That's probably, I guess, for lack of a better phrase, the, the cleanest way to do it at this point. Now, as you move forward, you start getting multiple Cree bulbs. You'll want to find some way of labeling it. Now, putting a label maker on is probably not going to be a good idea because that's going to get hot in it it's going to get a little stinky. So if you take like a uh, dry magic marker uh, with a very fine point and label on the bulb somewhere so that you know which bulb is what, if you have to go replace one, and then as you're building your documentation for your smart home, have a little list somewhere of what Cree bulb is, what device number or MAC address, so that if that writing does wear off or fade at some point you've got another way to identify the well hopefully you won't have to do this but you know sometimes a few minutes set up now will save you a lot of grief later on so just wanted to thank everybody for watching the videos thank you so much for the subscribe if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so press the like button if you can and you will see videos now up on the screen where it will be suggested based on the uh, subject of this video for other videos for you to watch if you have any questions please reach out to me and i'll be happy to do what i can because i want this to be as enjoyable as it can for you thank you much for watching the video and we'll see you again soon